So you're looking to start your streaming experience and you want a PC that's capable of streaming and gaming as well at 1080p, then you found the right video. I'll talk about a PC build that's capable of streaming and gaming at 1080p without any issues at above 240 FPS on esports titles, that way you can also compete without any problems and basically more than 60 fps on average on the highest settings in most of today's video games so make sure to stay until the end of the video because i'll tell you as well on how to get this pc a little bit cheaper and which components to downgrade if you feel like the price is actually expensive which is around 1150 dollars it might sound expensive for you and that's why i'm going to explain on how to downgrade it but also how to upgrade it and why without more to say let's to start with this video so we are going to start by talking about the cpu and why i picked it i went with the i5 12400f now the i5 12400 non-f version is actually going to be better but i wanted to make this pc as cheap as possible and the non-f version is not going to affect on gaming or streaming but it's going to help you on video editing so if you're really into video editing you may want to take a look at the 12400 non-f version but i think that for this build the 12400f is going to be enough and if if you like Ryzen, I would recommend at least the Ryzen 5 5600X, which is around $20 more expensive than this i5, but in my opinion, it didn't make sense because this 12th gen of Intel is actually insanely good for streaming and gaming. Then for the CPU cooler, I went with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. You can go with the non-RGB version, it's just a little bit cheaper, and if you don't like RGB on your gaming PC, it will make sense. And it's going to be a great option for the temperatures on the CPU, because this stock cooler from Intel, we all know that it's not the best. For the motherboard, I went with the MSI Mag V660. This one has Wi Fi included, and that's why I picked it. But it's around 190 bucks, and this might sound expensive, especially if it's just for gaming and streaming. So, if you're going to connect this PC with an Ethernet cable directly from the router, then you can actually go a little bit cheaper. Don't worry, because, like I said before, at the end of the video, I explain how and which components to get instead of this one. Then, for the memory, I went with two by 8 16 gigs cl16 memory at 3200 MHz. everything you need here unless you're going to work with a lot of tabs and i mean a lot of tabs and also you're planning on doing a lot of multitasking basically you don't need more than 16 gigs but if you feel like it you can go ahead and add two sticks more of the same memory kit for the storage i went with one terabyte of western digital m.2 ssd once again not fully necessary to go with ssd you can go with two terabyte of hard drive and save around 50 bucks and you can upgrade the ssd SSD later on to save some money but I want to give you a really good PC build for streaming and gaming and that's why I put SSD it's going to be significantly faster but if you don't have the budget to don't worry then for the graphics card and basically the most important part for gaming but it's also going to be really important for streaming because of the NBank encoder and we're talking about the RTX 3050 once again for 1080p gaming is all that you need basically for 60 FPS average in most of modern games at high settings and for esports titles such as Valorant and CSGO is going to be capable of 240 FPS without any issue and because it says 3050 you get new technologies you get the best technologies of Nvidia such as ray tracing and DLSS which is something really positive for gaming. I actually wouldn't go with an AMD graphics card especially for streaming for gaming AMD is actually really good but we are talking about streaming as well so I think this Nvidia RTX 3050 is going to be your best friend on this case. Then for the case I went with the Fantex P360A and I know I use it a lot on my PC build videos but this is because it already comes with two fans on the front so this fan text case is going to be more than enough especially for the hardware that you're getting which is not the super high-end hardware for 4k gaming or streaming we're talking about 1080p so it's going to work just fine then for the power supply I went with the Enermax Revolution the F850 watt 80 plus hole power supply a totally overkill for this type of build but I put this in in case you want a super high-end PC build in the future, I think the h 150 watt 80 plus gold power supply is going to make sense and the price $90 is actually pretty good for the type of power supply that you're getting and don't worry this is a tier A power supply so you don't have to worry about this thing exploding. And then I added one fan for the back of the gaming PC because the fan text case comes with two fans on the front but it doesn't come with any fans on the back so you will need this fan that's just $13 and will help you out. So overall the price it's 
1156 bucks if you add windows it's going to be around 1170 bucks so overall for the price that you're paying you're getting a great pc for 1080p gaming and streaming now it could be better and the components that i would actually upgrade if you want a better pc for gaming and streaming the first thing would be the graphics card from the rtx 3050 to the 3060 and then the CPU from the i5 12400F to the i5 12600K which is going to be perfect for both gaming and multitasking but I don't feel like it's really necessary especially if you're working on a budget and also if you don't have the budget to buy this PC I would replace the storage with 2TB of hard drive instead of 1TB of SSD I would also take out the CPU cooler and change the motherboard to the B660 Steel Legend ATX motherboard and then you can get a with the Corsair 650 watt 80 plus bronze power supply for 60 bucks if you do those three downgrades will be around $984 and if you're looking for a private gaming PC instead of a PC build because you don't know how to build it or you don't want to be in that process of building a PC by yourself then I actually recommend you watching my video about the top 5 best private PCs of the month that you can go ahead and watch in the top right of the screen which is going to be extremely helpful if you don't want to buy a PC build and in case you don't want to watch that video which is totally fine you will have a list in the description as well with this PC build where you will find a lot of private gaming PCs that I do recommend buying for every type of budget. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content, which I do from three to five times a week. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see you on the next one.